But anyway, now we have the volume lining up with the uh, the fluid surface info. So we have actual physics-based water starting where our visual water surface is. Mm -hmm. So with that in place now, I can right-click. I could add a physics volume and simply tweak it, or I could start out with the water volume. So with the water volume added, if I open up its properties, let's see. So, I mean, it says water volume, but again, that's just because it's a new actor to hold presets. But we still have physics volume. But let's see what might be different. Well, they have B water volume is already turned on, which makes sense. We, we should be able to swim around in water. And um, so with that, we can go ahead and also they have a little bit of a fog color set up. So just adding a, a water volume, it is really helpful to have that preset because now I didn't actually have to tweak anything. So add water volume, well, rebuild just for good measure. Now let's test it out. And again, you may find many uh, things you do with volumes won't require rebuilding, but then you might find that one odd case where you've changed something else in the level. So it's just a good idea. Play. Now, okay, we can see water. And now we can swim in water. We have even have that uh, little bit of a blue fog effect. Very nice. And, and another thing I guess you could show real quick is that by having this set up as water, that also ha means you have an entry sound and an exit sound that you can use as well. Yes. And the way those they have it set to the preset is it looks like that was just set in, uh -huh. the, uh, in the new script. But um, mm -hmm. that is one thing to point out. When the, uh, even though they don't have it set here, if you wanted to change it around or even use this with a physics volume, say you wanted to go into... Grabbing the fluid surface info by accident. Say under physics volume. Now, well, what if we wanted to make this entire room over here water? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing, well, okay, I mean, well, when working with the entry and exit sounds, those will not work if you have just a normal physics volume by itself, meaning one we can walk into and walk around in. Entry and exit sound will have no effect. They, yeah, because it has to be a water volume. If you have the, the water volume set to true, then you can mess around with the entry and exit sound. And but even, work. even then, you're still kind of limited. It's, uh, it generally only behaves well if you jump from above it down into it. Right. Then it'll make the splash sound. And when you climb out of it, it'll make the exit Not sound. Not if you were to walk into the, let's say, side of a queue. Exactly. So entry sound and exit sound is set up more for a uh, something you jump into right. type volume. So in our case, we could go ahead and put, let's say, maybe an exit sound on this. or We could set up... Um, or entry, whichever one you want. So set up an exit sound. The only thing is this is a water volume. We might add the slime one just by physics and build up to it because this this already has it set. We have an exit sound on water by default, but not set up through the default property. Let's just see what we get. Okay. So let's go up to the sound browser real quick and be kind of funny. Let's grab one from the taunt pack and say the base is under attack. So any sound you want, select it in the sound browser and hit use. And we might need to hit our volume just a little bit so we can actually hear that. And let me do an entry sound as well. So maybe a different taunt. So we've redefined the uh, entry and exit sounds. Now let me just go ahead and play the level and see how this is working. Play. So go over to the water, jump in, and... Well, it's still set to water because, again, this was set up a little bit differently. If we st had started out with just a plain physics volume... As a matter of fact, we could maybe just go ahead and recreate the water from okay. scratch. won't take that long because there's not that many properties. So let me delete out this water volume, bring my builder brush back over, and this time, let's add just a plain old physics volume. So in the physics volume, now we n need to go in ourselves and set things like... Uh, B water volume. Definitely want that set to true. And also to get that fog effect, we want to go down and set a fog color, something close to what they, just some bluish type color, maybe a little bit darker. And set the fog end to be maybe about, I'll make it a little bit thicker, 1020, end off at 1024. And have it start around maybe 256. So again, this is basically just saying that we won't have any fog effect until what seems to be 256 units out from the player. Okay. And then once we get out to 1024, the fog effect will be completely opaque. It'll mm -hmm. just be pure blue after 1024. And, uh, and we also want to make sure we turn B distance fog to true in the first place just right. to show it. So now we should have something that looks similar. So now we should like be able to use the sounds just fine. So now that we don't have sound set up, entry and exit sounds, on a uh, physics volume yet, so let's go to the entry sound, bring the sound browser back up, say, base is under attack when we jump in the water, and under the exit sound, let's say, just some other taunt. So with that, 
Let me rebuild just because I was messing around with the volume in that area. And let's see what this does. Play. So we jump in the water. The base is under attack. <laughs> now it won't always necessarily the play. As a matter of fact, the easiest way to show would probably be like a uh, like a puddle of water that you could walk through, and you'd have more of a footstep type sound. But um, in this case, that's okay. We, I mean, we got the entry sound to work though, and you can see yeah. the new fog in there. So yeah, lighter fog because I went and reset that, and I didn't take note of what their settings right, were. which is fine. But I mean, though. really, a physics volume is just a step away from being water. Right. At its core, it's just basically telling it be water. True. Right. Okay. Cool. Well, you know, a little exploration there, but it never hurts. You know, every combination in the world can. Um, not easily be explored in, well, a matter of minutes, but that's just curious. All right, so that's going to wrap up this lesson on dealing with water. Thanks.